Do you ever wish you lived in Orzammar? Great ancestors, no. You know what Orzammar is? It's cramped tunnels filled with nug shit and body odor. And every person there thinks he's better than you because his great 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 grandfather made a water clock or something. <laughs> but they're your people. Don't you even wonder what it would be like? I have a good imagination. Why would I waste it on that? So, I think I've mentioned before that usually my party, um, my party setup is if I'm playing a rogue hawk, you know, Hawk, Anders, and Bethany, or Anders and Meryl, and then um, Fenris. But I think I might... What am I doing? Jesus, sorry. I think I might switch it up this time. If I can deal with it. <clears throat> I, I, I want to take Sebastian with me, who isn't Shut available. You. Fuck you. It's not like I want to sleep with you. Right now. Haha. <laughs> Anyway, um, let me sell some shit. Huh. Okay. But yeah, I might. This is a modded item, or a mod produced item, actually. You can see what it looks like on Bethany, actually. Um. I don't sell my mod produced items because a lot of them, <clears throat> the reason a lot of the DLC is valued at only one one copper is because there's a, a property that you can add to items which doesn't appear in the item properties um, that it's called worthless and it makes every it makes anything onto which that property is put worth only one copper. But a lot of mod items or mod creators do not remember or do not care to add that to their items. So I feel like it's kind of cheating to sell modded items. Um, which is why they just get destroyed when I don't want them anymore. What am I doing? Fuck. I need to go and talk to Lorene who is already in this area. I'm sorry. So I, uh, in my free time, I have been playing Origins, actually, and it takes me back, you know? I do very much like Origins, I do also very much like this game, but, um, <clears throat> Origins is definitely far more focused, you know? There's almost always a, an overarching goal, something that sort of drives the plot and drives you along. Whereas in this game, Hawk, at some points, just she's just sort of wandering, you know? But then again... <clears throat> then again, this is a game that spans seven years. The Origins game only goes, I think, about a year and a half, maybe a Will year. everyone please just step back? My mother's in labor! The baby's come early! Can anyone help her? I'll send word to Behemoth. My son's hurt bad. Cart overturned on him in the blasted bone pit. Everyone in your turn. I promise we have donations coming in. There will be food and medicine for all of you. If you're seeking aid, leave your name with my girl. We serve everyone here. No one came from Ferelden without trouble. But I can't give priority to anyone who's already found work and lodging. I hear you know where I can find a Ferelden Grey Warden. Only Ferelden Grey Warden I've heard of slew the Archdemon to save us all. Fat lot they care here. We're out of the Blight's path now. Why would you need a Warden? The healer was one of them once, wasn't he? Oh a Warden? Well, he's not now, and busy enough without answering fool questions about it. Those are some pretty bad painted on shadows, if I might say so. And Lorraine's outfit, for whatever reason, always reminds me of Plato. I think it has to do with the uh, texture and the thickness of that um, tunic she's wearing. Who are you protecting? You see what our people face in Kirkwall. They have no jobs, no homes. Most can barely buy bread. This healer, 
He serves them without thought for coin. He's closed their wounds, delivered their children. And yet he needs to hide. He's a good man. I won't lose him to the blighted Templars. You mean he's a mage? Would I stick my neck out for some purveyor of hensbane and leeches? We would never turn someone over to the Templars, mistress. Never. He doesn't want to be locked in the gallows just for using the gifts the Maker gave him. Your healer is in no danger from me. If this mage is an apostate, the Templars will find him. No maid should suffer for an accident of birth. I suppose it isn't my secret to keep. Anders has certainly been free enough with his services. Refugees in Darktown know to find the healer, look for the lit lantern. If you have need enough, Anders will be with him. Please, my mother. I totally geeked out when I found out, or when I heard Anders' name the first time I played through Dragon Age 2. I, I tend to avoid all press involving a game that I haven't played yet, and so while I'm pretty sure it had been revealed that Anders from Awakening was going to be a companion again in uh, Dragon Age 2, I did not know until that moment. Hey, we heard you in there asking about the healer. We know what happens to mages in this town, and it ain't gonna happen to him. Did you know, depending, um, there, there are some situations where if you have certain members in your party, options in conversation, um, or conversations can play out differently than if you had anybody else. So that's kind of cool. For instance, Fenris is a pretty fun one to bring along. He likes to punch people through the heart and stuff. Anyway. Look, we're Vereldans just trying to keep out of the Templar's sight, same as you. Vereldan? But you, your clothes. I figured you for a Kirkwaller, sorry. Make her bless the rule of our Queen Anora. Okay. Let's see, I just picked up the Anders recruitment, the first stage of that, which means I'm going to spin back around, go in the other direction, I'm sorry, I know, and uh, head over to Darktown. Maybe I should put you to use, Varric. Have you penned some warnings for the Lawless? Who's that for? Are most criminals big breeders? Seems like pacifying the nobles. Pictures, then. It was just a suggestion. Well, how about a giant sign that just says don't? You could hit people with it. <laughs> Thank you. I get the point. All right.